Hi everyone, it's Brenda here and I'm coming to you from the Wise Woman's Gathering in uh, Wiseman's Ferry actually and um, I quite like that um, it's a Wise Woman's Gathering and we're in the Wise Man's Ferry so but anyway I've just attended a um, workshop on dangerous blogging and it's really about having a voice, having, um, being seen, having your say, um, being heard. And for a lot of women, that can be a difficult thing. Perhaps our mothers didn't do it, our grandmothers didn't do it. Uh, and there's a real opportunity with internet these days to to have a voice, to, to put out there what we really want to say. And it's difficult. It's difficult having the vulnerability um, to do it. And not just for women, for men as well. And yet that's what's the most compelling. That's what's the most read and watched and forwarded and shared and all those things we, we really want. Um, and for me, I would like something other than cat videos and loopers and and that kind of thing to be to go viral. Um, being someone who really really wants to make a difference to the world when it comes to honoring the sacred feminine, honoring the sacred masculine, honoring the body, honoring our partner in relationships. Um, having self-esteem, having inner strength to encourage and boldness to do the things that we want to do. I'd like to see lots of that as well. And so my story is that I struggle with that. I find it difficult to really put it out there. It comes from my training that as a corporate person, you have to be careful what you say. Uh, as a professional person, if you put something out and then you're trying to um, approach a new, a new um, client that might be your income for the next 12 months, they'll read something they don't like and that'll be it. So it feels threatening. Uh, and so I tend to not do it. So I find it easy to write instructions and guidelines and recipes which you've been receiving all week. So I guess being here at this seminar, at this conference here with the, the Wise Women's Gathering is uh, kind of a detox for me. And some of it's a, um, a detox from Western capitalist, um, culture, civilization, which is patriarchal still uh, in many, many ways, uh, which is okay, it's fine, but in many ways it doesn't serve us women or men. And so I'm, I guess I'm detoxing from that and it's amazing what's opening up, what gives me the space to reflect on. Uh, just swimming in the water, sweating with the heat, staying in dorms or cabins that are sandy and, and sleeping in, on um, vinyl mattresses which aren't particularly comfortable, they squeak, having showers where there's a bit, a bit of um, water and, and mud on the floor. Uh, but I'm actually loving it. I'm actually really loving it. The community here, the, the friendship, the, the, um, the safety, the acceptance is giving me a new perspective uh, on what fills my cup. And I'm sure it's the same for you too. What do we need? We need to be loved. We need to be appreciated. We need to be heard. We need to be seen. We need purpose and passion to really live our life to the fullest. So... I'm getting to share my vulnerabilities here and with a, a group of uh, incredible women, um, elders, mothers, uh, babies, children, it's fantastic. 
Uh, and as part of my message today, I'd like to say schedule in because that's the only way it's going to happen. Some detox moments for the year. Some detox evenings. Go away with the girls. Um, do a workshop. Uh, even if it's nine to five and it's not overnight, it's something. Maybe do this uh, Wise Women's Gathering next January. Uh, something that enables you to detox from busyness, the fast pace. I hope you have just an extraordinary day and I shall connect with you again tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.